This project is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay officially launches the first ever 3D printing design contest. All 3D printing enthusiasts can participate in both categories. Design a 3D model based on PCBWay's official mascot Ion or create your very own original character. For the best projects, I provided valuable prizes ranging from $200 to $500 plus certificates. You can submit your project from September 15th to November 10th, 2025. PCBWay has all the services you need to create your project at the best price. Hello, a static charge monitor, also known as a static field meter or electrostatic voltmeter, is a device used to measure the presence and magnitude of static electricity, electrostatic charge, on surfaces, objects, or in the surrounding environment. Generally, this type of instruments are divided into contact-based meters, which measure charge by direct contact with the surface, and non-contact non field meters that use electrostatic induction to measure charge from a distance. Another division is based on the duration of the measurement, namely momentary check checks in different locations and continuous 24-7 monitoring system. In this project, I'll present a circuit design for a continuous static charge monitor that you can build or adapt. The design focuses on non-contact electrostatic field sensing, real-time voltage measurement and output signaling. The device consists of three basic parts, a detector, an electronic part and a unit for displaying and logging the results, in our case the personal computer. Now I will explain each part individually. First of all about the detector, it can be said that this is the most important part considering that it is used to detect and receive the static charge. It consists of two metal plates placed parallel at a certain distance and insulated from each other. The sensitivity of the detector is directly proportional to the surface area of the electrodes and inversely pro proportional to the distance. This means that the, that the larger surface area and the smaller the distance from each other, the greater the sensitivity. This time I will not go into the further detailed analysis of the method of creating and manufacturing the sensor. I will just tell you that based on the many tests I have done previously, this is a certain the compromise between the sensitivity and stability, accuracy and practicality of the sensor. Practicality of the sensor. Specifically the surface area of each of the electrodes is about 115 cm square, diameter is exactly 12 cm, and the, the distance from each other is exactly 2.5 cm. Also their shape is not chosen randomly and it has a circular shape in order to reduce the so-called leakage effect. This is the simplest time, type of electrostatic charge detector and responds best to change in electrostatic change, change over time, which practically means that the charged object has to be moved close to the detector, as we will see later in the dem demonstration. This is not practical in the case of measuring an atmospheric charge, where a field mill detector is used, which uses rotating vibrating conductive plates and generates an AC signal whose amplitude is proportional to the field straight. The next part of the device is a relatively simple electronic circuit consisting of an operational amplifier JFET integrated circuit TL071 which functions as a comparator and amplifier for the signal generated by the detector. Now to briefly explain the adjustment method. We place the potentiometer P1 
in the far left position that is a resistance close to the maximum and P3 at the middle. We connect a voltmeter to the middle terminal of P3 and move the potentiometer P2 until the voltmeter reads 0 volts. At that moment the detector is more sensitive and now with the potentiometer P3 we can adjust the range in which the voltage that we bring to the microcontroller will move. Now we bring the signal to the microcontroller with this yellow wire, in this case Arduino Nano, which has the function of processing this signal and sending it to the PC software where we can visually monitor the values and changes. For this part you need to upload the given simple code in the way that has been explained, explained many times before. For those do-it-yourselfers who have no experience with, with microcontrollers, I can say that instead of a microcontroller, a di digital voltmeter can be directly connected to the output of this part uh, with an operational amplifier or even better, an analog instrument with a moving needle which gives us a complete device that also has certain, certain advantages in the sense that we can make it in a portable version. Just a few simple notes about the Arduino code. This is the string that is sent at the beginning and serves as a signal for the Windows application to accept the data sent by the Arduino. Then the baud rate is set to 9600 and finally we can experiment with these values depending on the level of the detected signal and the position of the potentiometer P3. At the end of the code uh, values are sent to the three instruments that we will define in the Windows application. And as I mentioned at the beginning, for visual presentation of the results, I use a PC with the wonderful Windows application Serial Com Instruments installed, which is the work of Urlich Albert Mansen, and you can download the latest version 4.1 on the microcontroller.net page and use it freely but only for personal needs. In fact, this time I will only briefly explain how to set up the program specifically for this case. I'm trying to get in touch with the author and if I get his permission I plan to make a video with more detailed instructions on setting up and using this extremely useful, thing, uh, useful tool. First, we go to Interface, then select the appropriate COM port that corresponds to, the, to that of Arduino. In my case, that is COM8, and select the baud rate 9600. And at the end, press connect. Now, this application is connected to the Arduino. Then, instrument box, and select the three instruments that we will use these are round meter, tank, and vertical meter. First, round meter, then tank meter, and vertical meter. Now we go to design toggle and set the colors and range and, and properties of three instruments by double clicking on each one individually.
Save and exit. Next for this instrument. And custom background color. And for this instrument. Next we need to press start trend and the testing in German the Germans begin. For this purpose I can create an electrostatic charge on a plastic ruler through a process called triboelectric charging which involves rubbing them with certain materials, in this case a woolen cloth. First I will test the presence of a charge on small light pieces uh, of paper that will be att attracted under the action of the charge. Now let's test the functionality of the device whose construction have presented so far. As I mentioned at the beginning, with this type of detector it's necessary to move the object, the ruler, over the plates if we want to instantly detect the charge. The instrument in the application shows a momentary large deflection, which is a sign of the presence of a charge near the detector plates. Also, with this type of detector reacts equally to, po equally to positive and negative charge. Now I will show you a specific case of continuous monitoring of static charge generated by this mosquito killer in the form of a tennis racket. By pressing the button, a high voltage electrostatic field is generated and under the influence of this field the capacitor is charged which consists of metal grids placed at a certain displace, distance. If we connect the electrodes of the capacitor, it will discharge, generating a high, high voltage spark. Now let's try in real conditions. On the instruments in the application we see very interesting case, namely the strength of the static charge changes continuously depending on the distance between the source and the plates, and even if the source is not moving, the instruments display the current value continuously. In fact, this is a feature only of the so-called field mill detectors. Now I will explain why this is so in this special case. Uh, the way this mosquito killer works is as follows. First we have a source of alternating signal. 
Then through a power MOSFET this signal is carried to the primary of the high voltage transformer on whose secondary an alternating high voltage is generated. Uh, next, this voltage uh, uh, which generate next this voltage is rectified with diode and filtered with capacitor. The final voltage which generates the electrostatic field and which charges the signal has the following form. So it is not ideally straight. So our detector detects these small fluctuations of the direct voltage and these small changes simulate uh, constant movement, vibration of this source of static charge like in the field, field mill detectors. I would like to remind you that this is not a professional device and the values you read on the application are only empirical numbers, so we need to have a commercially calibrated device for comparison and accurate making of the scale. And finally a brief conclusion, this is simple static charge monitor uses a parallel plate detector and TL071 operational amplifier circuit to measure electrostatic fields with real-time visualization via Arduino and PC software. Although it is not a professional device, it is an excellent education tool for studying the properties of static electricity.